Let's talk about how to use Vulcan 7. So Vulcan 7 is a power dialer designed to be used for expireds and for sale by owners. They also have the option to call neighborhood data, but how do you really use it in a way that's gonna get you results. If you are not a part of the Vulcan 7 challenge, I encourage you to click the link down below in the description and join that challenge. So the first way we use Vulcan 7, to call leads. Go figure, right? But it's not just about having the tool. It's about how you use that tool. That's the difference between the agents who find success with Vulcan 7 and the agents who don't. So this call schedule was something that my coach had taught me when I was first getting started in real estate, and I'm gonna give it to you right here. The first thing you're gonna focus on every morning is your new expireds and new for sale by owners. The reason being because these leads have the most competition your database, the neighborhood data, your hot leads, your warm leads. Not everybody has that information. What they do have is they have the new expireds and they have the new for sale by owners. So if you're going to start calling, you need to make sure that you're hitting the most competitive leads first. You want to be the first one to get in touch with them. You want to be the first one to handle their objections and you want to be the first one to book an appointment. Now, whether you ask for the first appointment or the last appointment is up to you. But the point is we want to get to those new leads that are hyper competitive first. So after we call the new expireds, the new for sale by owners, what are we calling? So the next set of leads that you're gonna call inside your dialer every morning are your hot leads. These are your leads that are just about ready. They have given you every indication that they're going to be listing soon, that they want to talk to you. Their timeline's coming to an end and you know that at some point in the next 10 to 30 days, these people are going on the market. Now, once we've called the new leads and we've called the hot leads, we're gonna move to the warm leads. These are your leads that are 30 to 90 days out, but they're still likely to get on the market soon. Simple enough, right? Now, this next set is unique to you, and that's what's so awesome about it, and that's your database. You're gonna call through your database every day. It might be five leads, it might be 10 leads, but you're gonna call through a couple of them every single day. You're gonna ask for referrals and ask if there's anything that you can do for them. Now, once we've gone through new expireds, hot leads, warm leads, and our database, now we can hit the old expireds. The old expireds still have some competition, but nothing like the new expireds. So we're putting them underneath the database. And finally, your neighborhoods or your circle prospecting. Now you should have a goal every single day to talk to at least 30 people. Most days, this is something that I was able to do between 8 a.m. and 11 a.m. I also did all my dial sessions while playing video games, but that's another story. So the next step in how to use Vulcan 7 is to track your progress. Vulcan 7 has all sorts of statistics and data based on your dial sessions that you can use in order to track your progress. Have you hit your contacts for the day? Have you booked any appointments? Have you built any nurtures, any hot leads, any warm leads? Remember, when you're dialing, you're building a pipeline. It's not always gonna be today, but you have to be building the pipeline. So make sure that you're keeping track of your metrics. How many dials does it take you to get to a connection? How many connections does it take you to get to a nurture? How many nurtures does it take you to get to an appointment? Once you have all these metrics, you're gonna be able to look at all the data and see exactly how long you need to dial every single day in order to set one to two appointments, whatever your goal is. Now, the third way in how to use Vulcan 7, we'll get to that in just a second, but before we do, please, if you're enjoying these videos, do me a favor, do yourself a favor, hit the subscribe button, hit that little notification bell and smash the like button. Also, if you're interested in taking more listings and working directly with me, there's a link down below in the description. You can go to that link, fill out the form and book a call with me where we can see how we can help you get more listings this year and grow your real estate business. Now for the final piece of Vulcan 7 and how to use it properly, improving your skills. So Vulcan 7, like we said, it has the data, it has the dialer, it also has recording. Now this to me is one of the most underutilized pieces of Vulcan 7 that there is. Having those recordings is so important because you can go through, you can listen to these recordings and you can find out where did I lose this prospect? Where did the disconnection happen where this person decided they were not going to work with me? What did I say that did well? What did I say that did not do well? How was the first 10 seconds of the call? Did it sound bad? Was there a disconnect with our conversation? How was the first 30 seconds of the call? Was I building rapport? Was I pushing the prospect away? What was happening? The ability to go through these recordings and have the self-awareness to know what's going on in that call, to listen to the way that you say words. Sometimes it's not just what you say. Sometimes 
It's how you say it. What does your tone say? Is the prospect talking slow? Are you talking fast? If somebody answers the phone and they're speaking in a slow rate of speed and you, the agent who's standing, who's smiling, who's had four cups of coffee already, is going a million miles an hour on that call to this person who just woke up and is talking at four words a minute, what does the rapport on that call look like? you need to be listening to these recordings every day. If you're speaking to 20 people a day, 30 people a day, keep track of two calls that went well and two calls that went poorly. Then at the end of your dial sessions at 11 a.m. or whatever time it is, go back, listen to all four calls, take notes, think what could I have said differently? How could I have said things differently? What was the disconnect? What was the thing that worked really well? And use that to improve your skills. There are agents who jump on the dialer every day and set two, three, four, five appointments. There are agents who jump on the dialer every day and are lucky to book an appointment a week. What's the difference? Is it the dialer? Is it the data? Or is it the agent? So pay attention to what's going on, work on improving your skills, and if you wanna know how you can convert more leads, check out the video coming up after this.